I think our educators get connected experientially with deeper learning in, in a couple different ways. One would be the, um, the sharing and looking at student work as a professional learning community that we do um, regularly. Um, and that is critical for, again, for that, we have students in the same settings typically, but such different ways of approaching it and ways to develop uh, a project. And once, once people start looking at that student work, the questions that come up are not just about the project and how it was done, but it may be around how did you get the mentor to come on board with that level of research? What questions did you ask? What structures did you put in place? And so that, that turns into some pretty important things. Um, and then in PD, we do, um, similar to the big picture conferences, we do leaving to learn sessions so that at least a couple times a year, um, advisors are out at a place together, developing ideas for projects and working on that together. Um, we have a session where they're off observing and visiting other advisors and uh, watching what they're doing and giving them not feedback, but um, observations like here's what I see saw you asking here's what I saw you do and this is what I thought the effect was um, and then intentionally for what we call rookies um, those new advisors they uh, they have a person go with them they so they visit uh, a learning plan a project setup an LTI setup they visit all those with a veteran advisor first and in their first one of each of those meetings they have someone visit and coach them through it so there's various ways that we feel like um, have been powerful learning experiences for teachers. Some are provided by us by the network, but also there's some that are site-based that we support as well. So for example, one of the workshops that we offer is the Experiencing the International's Approach. And it is a workshop where uh, teachers are participants and they are uh, taught two different types of lessons um, spoken in a foreign language that they may not know um, and then they experience two variations of that lesson one is something that's very didactic and traditional in many ways and one that is a little bit more in line with our pedagogical stance and our practices when we asked new tech um, the new tech um, coaches a question we expected an answer but they never answered us with an answer they answered us with a question which is really part of that deeper learning and their coaching style and it took us a little while to learn that. And over time, we not only learned that that was the new tech way, but also it became our way. So now we do that with uh, staff and other professional learning, other things that we do. We generate questions and we, you know, we lead with more questions than answers. And that brings in a lot of critical thinking for our staff and our teachers. And for us, that's very valuable and has kept us moving forward. And, really embedding that whole learning organization concept. And um, that's what we love about it. It doesn't become stagnant. It doesn't become old. It's always new because we're always learning something new. And we learned that way of being from the network. We've had a powerful um, learning experience from new tech. Wow, we've had many. And, but the one that was the most life-changing for our school was the first one that we experienced, which was the planning track. We went to NTAC um, 2014, I believe. We were in New Orleans. And we didn't know what to expect. Our, we had a small team, a group of people, and those, those teachers are still with me this day. Um, we showed up. We were thinking we were going to be in a traditional professional learning conference. We were going to go in, sit down, and get information. But it was not like that at all. Our first day, we all we experienced was experiential learning as an adult. We're not used to that. We're used to sitting there and someone telling us what we're doing. And that was not what it was. And it completely flipped our view and our learning and what we needed to do. It wasn't until three days later we figured out, wow, this is what the students need to see. But we had to go through it first for it to shift us before we could ever do it for, for students.